Here we are, day three, Commercial UAV Expo 2024. Hoping to connect with a few more people, kind of see what some more companies are up to. But really, what I need is this. I need a nice cup of coffee. That'll do. It's definitely nothing compared to Hexagon's coffee booth over at Energeo last year. I'm gonna be heading over there later this month, so be on the lookout for those videos. Or if you're going to be there, I'd love to meet you in Germany uh, for Energeo 2024. All right, let's check out the exhibit hall today. So let's take a quick look at FreeFly and what these guys are up to. So this is Alta X, it's our heavy lift drone. It has a max capacity of 35 pounds. People use it a lot for cinema, uh, fighting forest fires, uh, loggers use it for dropping lines. And on here we've got the Drone Rescue Systems Parachute. That's uh, ASTM certified parachute for Alta. We've got our Pilot Pro controller. This Pilot Pro has a Hearlink radio. Radio also works on Astro. Uh, this is FreeFly Astro. The payload on here is the Emerson hover map. That's like the, the top of the line LiDAR payload. Uh, it's got full uh, obstacle avoidance and autonomous mode. We've got FPV right here. That's an optional accessory. Also running on a Pilot Pro. Same controller, as Same controller as the other one, but this one is a doodle radio. This one is blue certified. All right, this is the Sony ILX LR1 with the boson thermal attachment. And we've also got another attachment. It's not on this one. It's a laser rangefinder. for everybody to see. Hey everyone. Hey Farrah. How's it going? Good. How's the show been? I'm enjoying the show immensely. This is my second year here at the Commercial UAV Expo and this year I am here specifically with the 3D survey team. So we've got an all-in-one photogrammetry software that I've been using for almost a decade now. Um, and so I work really closely with the team when they come to expos that are kind of close to me and I come and showcase what I do with it every single day. So I'm doing big topographic work and a lot of volume calculations and open pit mines. And so this is what I use to process all of my photogrammetry. It's all good, it's all good. All right, so I'm with Andre from Wingtra, and so tell us a little bit more about your new tablet as well as the Wingtra Cloud. This year is all about end-to-end -end workflows for our customers, so not just the drone hardware, but really everything happening around it. This is our new uh, tablet, the premium tablet, um, running our cloud, and basically what the cloud is, it really helps our customers really from end to end, like from start to finish, um, starting with like site creation, site management, uh, you, you choose your co the coordinate system you want to be, like local coordinates, uh, you plan your flights, you, like it's very easy and intuitive. Cloud will also help you during flight mission and what's now very new is also after the flight in cloud, you upload your data, not only geotagging but also like high fidelity processing of the RGB data uh, with LiDAR processing also uh, coming until the end of the year. We really see this is as a major unlocker for many of our customers that the drone becomes more and more a commodity but we really help them to get the job done like faster and staying with our universe and then also handing the data over to our third party uh, partners like where the data is being really used for um, important insights. So Val, do you know what DJI did today? What did they do? They released a new drone. What's it like? It's, it's big? It's tiny and uh, it's right there. It's the same size as this palm. It's tiny. So I'm going to get a chance to demo the new DJI Neo and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Very simple. Firstly, the hand All right. here and let the camera detect your face because this one is lower. Okay, so higher, it needs to see my face. And okay. that three seconds. 
I love that. <laughs> so I can walk around now and it'll follow me? Oh my god, it's rotating. It even like pitches up and down. Look, it's following me. Oh, that's so cool. Hello. I'm gonna come over here. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. It like tracks me and it knows exactly where I'm at. Put my hand out. And it lands. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Look how tiny that thing is compared to yesterday's <laughs> delivery drone. <laughs> How are you, sir? Nice to see you, sir. All right, tell me a little bit more about Yellowscan. So, Yellowscan is a French based company with domestic operations here in the States. We focus on terrestrial and bathymetric LiDAR solutions flown on medium to large size UAVs. And really, one of the keystones of the company is that we like to provide a simplified customer facing solution. So, we understand that there's a lot that people are responsible for. So, we want to make it as easy as possible to get that accurate and precise solution. So, we put in a lot of work on the back end, the level of sophistication with our engineers, our industrialization, our marketing teams, so that the, for the customer, it's as simple as our motto is, which is just press the yellow button. All right, and that wraps things up. How was your first commercial UAV expo? Thanks for asking. It was actually really insightful, not only in terms of drones, not only in terms of people that we met, but in terms of future things coming into the industry. We're just at the forefront of all that news right here, connected as a medium for all this awesome stuff. Make sure you guys sign up to the Survey School where you can learn exclusive content about surveying, aerial mapping, and connect with me and Val on a weekly basis. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all later.